Innovative thinkers and problem solvers from India have made Cornell their Ivy League university for more than a century. In 1921, Asia's first Nobel Prize winner, Tagore, contacted Leonard Elmhurst at Cornell. The two of them met and there began a collaboration with India in the field of agriculture and rural reconstruction that has left its mark even till today. Bringing Cornell and India together allows us to learn from each other, allows us to learn from global experiences for India, and then Cornell learning from India as it thinks about how do you solve problems in developing countries. This is a made for each other moment for both. India is a world power. India is an emerging economy and there is this rich cultural diversity. At the same time, India poses super interesting challenges. Cornell Global Hubs is Cornell's new approach to faculty, student, and alumni engagement. And in India, we're taking an approach that brings together multiple institutions across the country. So much of international engagement can be remarkably extractive. And so one of our commitments at South Asia Program is to do work that is engaged with the communities in which we work, that's attentive to their concerns and their priorities. We have these long-standing programs that are primarily with community-based organizations and NGOs. The Tata Connell Institute is a standalone research center, which is part of the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences at Cornell. And we're focused on addressing the problems of malnutrition and rural poverty. We have academic partners, NGO partners, and other research think tanks that we work with in India. And all of our students spend a year in India doing field-based research. That way our students are addressing real-life problems, but with the rigor and the analytical excellence that Cornell can provide. And my work focuses on technology and social impact. I design, build, and evaluate culturally aware AI technologies. We already have a program where students from India are part of my lab, and it's important for us to go back there as well. The Nogaris program is field-based learning par excellence to bring indigenous students and Cornell students into the classroom together to co-learn to think about regionally specific and community specific problems, whether they be questions of infrastructure, climate change and environmental degradation, about the effects of technology as they're felt by real people in real places, and lots more. Partnerships are essential so that we can identify the right problems to work on, to pool and share the resources and knowledge with each other. I have a lot of technology experience. But at the same time, I need domain expertise when I'm working with people who are addressing different socioeconomic challenges, health inequity challenges, people who are working on caste and gender. These are the kind of conversations we should be having more. If we turn to peer into the next 100 years, it is clear Cornell gets a lot from India and India also is enriched by this engagement there is a huge amount of potential to realize ahead of us.